Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video, as promised. I wanted to tell you guys about my new engineering website that I started. It's called myengineeringperspective.com. So I write more content on there because it's easier for me to write than to make videos because of my schedule. But I've, I've been pushing out a lot of content on there and it's answering a lot of things. Like the, the last um, article I just wrote was about how to maximize your time as a commuting student. So that was pretty interesting and I'm going to be answering a lot more questions on there. So you can go there and check out the articles I have now. And also when you go check it out, leave me some comments on the things that you want me to, to write about. Leave me some comments on the things you want me to inquire about for you and I'll be happy to do that. So a lot of people always have questions about what an engineering discipline is about or how to choose an engineering program. So I decided to make this video and give you six things to consider when trying to choose an engineering discipline or program. So the first thing to consider is the actual scope of work. You need to do your research if you've decided that you want to study something like uh, aerospace engineering or civil engineering you need to do your research on what exactly that entails doing your research will help you know if uh, that program is suited to your strong point so if you're someone who likes physics or if you're someone who likes chemistry or some other like maybe IT or like computer programming you need to know your strengths and you need to tailor that to what engineering discipline you want to do because most people just look at the name of the engineering program and think oh okay I, I think I could do that that sounds cool enough that's not how you should do it because for example chemical engineering most people go into that thinking that it's chemistry based or is a lot of chemistry and they're like oh I like chemistry so this should be a piece of cake but then you go into the program and you realize it has little to do with actual chemistry and you're disappointed and then you have five years of doing that program and paying all those bills for something that you did not necessarily want to sign up for. Same thing goes with biomedical engineering. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I went into biomedical engineering because it seemed very medical related with like engineering infused in it and that's something I would enjoy or it seems very biology related and that's something I would like. There's a lot of physics in biomedical engineering. Most people do not know that, but there's a lot, a ton, a ton of physics in it. And if you did your research beforehand, you would know what the program entails and you would um, know the scope of work. So it help you tailor your choices based off of that. The second thing I would want you to consider when choosing a program of discipline is the length of study and the mandatory requirements. So some programs are four years, some programs are five years. Some programs require you to have three to five work terms prior to graduation. Like it's a, it's mandatory you have that before you graduate. So you need to look at these things and see what your priorities are. If you think you can get your own internship during the summers and you don't need a mandatory uh, co-op program, then you should not opt for for, the, for that option. Um, if you think that um, taking a mandatory option will give you the drive to actually make sure you get something on your work terms then you should take that option as well but you should keep in mind that some of them are extended programs because of different options so it could be five years and if you if you don't mind finishing your program in five years then you should take that option and if you want to finish it in four years if you want to finish it sooner then you should obviously uh, look into programs that are strictly four years and most schools will inform you about what programs have mandatory requirements um, if you are unsure it's very important that you take the time and actually um, look into what the program entails or you call up the school and ask them what their requirements are for this program and see if you're comfortable with that. The third thing to look into is your career plans. So I'm guessing if you're going to go study something for four to five years, you kind of have a small idea of what you're going to do after graduation. I know I didn't have a big idea of what I wanted to do, but I had a small idea that, oh, okay, maybe Literally, I thought, oh, okay, oil and gas, because that's what everyone who does chemical engineering does um, does after like graduation, oil and gas. So I was like, mm, okay, oil and gas. But then as time goes on, you, I realized that there was so much more I could do. And I was like, oh crap, like I need, I need to actually start, start tailoring my, my, um, my skills and my strong points to the, the opportunities that are out there. There's, a, there's numerous industries that uh, chemical engineers could work in and I didn't really know about that until I got into the program and I started doing my research and I figured that out. So I would advise you to do your research beforehand and see what industries are available. See what you like, see what you want to get into and start working towards that. That will also help you when you're looking for jobs 
for internships or for work terms that will help you because you can tailor your um, your passions and your skills defining work or internship that's useful to your program and to your passion so networking is very useful so if you see someone who's a chemical engineering graduate ask them about it ask them oh what do you think um, I could do with my degree what do you do with your degree make sure you know why you're going to study this program and your um, end plan your end plan when you actually come out of school with a degree what are you trying to use the degree for you need to figure out what you want to do with it so you just don't come out from the just don't come out with your degree and you realize that you don't know where to go or you don't know where to put it into the fourth thing you need to consider is if you are ready to give up your sleep and dedicate your time to engineering if you're thinking of studying engineering a common factor with any for anyone smart or mediocre aerospace or civil whatever program you're trying to study a common factor is oh my god there's a bee a common factor is that you're going to experience sleepless nights now it might be plus or minus depending on your time management skills but you're going to experience that it's a very um it's a very rigorous program and it's also very compact that you need to you need to put in a lot of personal time to make sure that you actually understand the work scope and you understand what exactly it is that you're trying to learn in the classroom. The learning doesn't stop in the classroom. Most of the learning is going to be done outside of the classroom. So you're going to spend a lot of time making sure that you understand what you're doing because everything is connected. This course might be a prerequisite for the next course. That course might be a prerequisite for the next, next course. And it's good that you have a solid foundation of what you're being taught so you can transfer that into the different other uh, courses so with that being said you're going to lose a lot of sleep making sure that you are on top of assignments making sure that you're on top of tests making sure you're on top of um, uh, study questions making sure that you're on top of um, textbook questions just making sure that you are in it to win it so you're gonna lose a lot of sleep so get ready for that so the fifth thing I'm going to tell you to look into when you're considering an engineering degree is the university reputation for your program. Different universities are known for different things and they're known for specific things. You'll hear people say, oh that school is a very good school for research or this school is the only school that offers aerospace engineering in this whole region. You need to look into what the university reputation is when you're deciding to choose a program. Because, for example, the university I went to was um, was well known for engineering as well, and it was known for their business program as well as their fashion program. So it was located in the heart of uh, downtown, downtown Toronto, and that's like a very busy city center. So that makes sense that their fashion program will be very booming, and people come from far and wide to go to their fashion program. So you're not going to go to some other university in the suburbs or some some other university that you know has the program but isn't really known for the program you're not going to want to go there if you're really passionate about it and you know that you can get into a university with a good reputation for the program you want then why not and also you might know of a top top university and you really want to go there but then you find out that the engineering discipline you want is not being offered in that university and then you're being offered some other program so you need to figure that out too because I know people who want to study aerospace engineering, I've, I've mentioned it before, people who want to study aerospace engineering, there are only like a handful of universities in the country, that's in Canada, that are actually offering that discipline. So you need to actually make sure that you figure out what you're trying to do and tailor that to picking your universities. The sixth thing to look into is going to be cost of program, cost of the program, and other expenses. So, engineering is not cheap. I'm sure we all know that. It's not cheap at all. Um, but different places have different uh, prices. You could go to, uh, you could check a different university and you'll see a different price for the same program that you'll see at a different university. It might be because of reputation of that university, it might be because of location of that university, it might be because of the research program, numerous different reasons, but some programs are more expensive in different places. So 
you need to also look at your budget. If you're going to be taking loans and you want to pay them back quickly, if you're going to be borrowing money from here, if you're going to be paying it by yourself straight out of pocket, you need to look into how much you're willing to pay for your program. And also other expenses. When I say other expenses, understand that there's going to be a lot of textbooks and those textbooks are not cheap. I don't know why, but they're not cheap. They're expensive as well. If you're also thinking of moving closer to your university or staying on campus because you want a, a nicer study life balance, also look at that cost because that's going to cost you some money being closer to the university and paying rent and uh, having to buy groceries and buy food. Or if you think it's a smarter idea to stay at home, you need to figure that out because um, all these things, they all add up. And then you don't want to come out of school with a huge debt to pay uh, for years and years. So that's one as a strong factor to look into the cost of the program. And so yeah, those are my six things to consider when you're trying to choose an engineering program or discipline. I hope this video was very helpful and I enjoy getting the feedback. I've been getting a lot of feedback in the comments section. I've been getting people messaging me directly. Please just keep it coming. I'm always ready to help. I'm willing to help. And also, if you check out my blog, like I said at the beginning of the video, you'll see different things where I talk about there that I'm not necessarily going to do in a video. So you can check that out as well and send me, leave comments there and send me emails about anything you want to talk about. I would be very happy to get those. I'm going to leave a link in the description bar below for the website I'm talking about. So yeah, for my people going back to school, have a wonderful school year. I know the school year is starting soon, summer is over. Uh, have a wonderful school year and for the people who are done and are now searching for jobs, I wish you luck in your job search. So I'll see you in my next video and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!